This is the best performing stock of our century. It's up over 60,000% since it IPO'd. And they don't sell iPhones, they don't sell Teslas, they sell energy drinks. But Monster Energy is not the high growth stock we're talking about today. Today we're talking about what could be the next Monster Energy. Let's do it. What's going on everybody? My name is Matthew. Welcome back to my channel and today we are talking all things Celsius Holdings, ticker symbol C-E-L-H. And guys, let me tell you, I have not been this excited about a stock in a while and in this video, we're going to do a pretty solid breakdown of my preliminary research. So stick around for this entire video because I think there could be massive opportunity in this high growth profitable stock. Give me the format. First, a brief look at Celsius and their products. Second, the massive opportunity in the beverage market. Third, a look at their very juicy financials. And I mean, seriously, these are some great numbers. Fourth, why they're growing so fast and how they can grow further. And finally, fifth, probably the most important part of the video, their valuation and what I intend to do. And I say it's the most important part because we talk about the premium that Celsius is currently trading at and we tie everything in the video back together. No time wasted, let's get right into part one an overview of Celsius and their product portfolio. Celsius sells energy drinks and other energy related products like bars and their goals are to one, become a global leader with a branded well-recognized product portfolio, two, make proprietary clinically proven or innovative products, and three, offer significant health benefits. Their portfolio consists of their flagship product, the Celsius Energy Drink, which comes in a variety of flavors, some sparkling and some non-sparkling. Using their proprietary Meta Plus formula, Celsius activates thermogenesis, a process in our bodies that boosts our metabolic rate. Drinking Celsius prior to fitness activities actually helps burn body fat, calories, and accelerate metabolism. And no, drinking it before researching a stock does not burn calories, but it does get you focused, and I'll talk more about that later. And understand that thermogenesis and all of those words might seem kind of scary at first, but the Celsius drink is actually backed by many university and clinical studies. They also have Celsius heat, which seems to have more of a pre-workout functionality, and Celsius BCAA plus energy, which is like a recovery drink. It's got BCAAs to help with muscle fatigue, and the drink also replenishes your electrolytes. And to wrap up their product offerings, they have Celsius on the go, which are like powder packets mixed into water, and fast bars, which seem to be your typical typical fitness bars. Right now, Celsius is at a point where most of their products are being distributed by most of the major players in the retail space. Here's a look at some of their current sales channels. They split them up by category, and already you can see some household names like 7-Eleven, Planet Fitness, Target, Walmart, GNC, CVS, Amazon, and the list goes on. They also have DSD or direct to store relationships with different vendors across the country. And DSD just means the supplier Celsius delivers directly to the retail stores or customers, which has benefits like better SKU placements, improved product velocity, and of course, cost savings. So by no means is this company just getting started. In fact, they're already well on their way, but I personally think there's still a lot of runway left for us investors. So now you understand the gist of their product offerings and how they're distributed through their sales channels. So let's talk about part two, the massive opportunity in the energy and functional beverage market. Quite simply, the global energy beverage market is expected to total 84.8 billion by 2025, growing at about 7% annually. And the global functional drink market, which is different, is expected to grow by 156 billion between 2019 and 2023, with a CAGR or compound annual growth rate of almost 11%. Energy drink spending is growing faster than soft drinks, water, sports drinks, coffee, juices, and tea. And as more people move away from the categories that I just mentioned, Celsius and its competitors should gain more market share from those areas of the beverage market. And just a fun little Easter egg for my research, these two slides of the investor presentations from Monster and Celsius are looking a little similar here. <laughs> All right, so now you know the $85 billion opportunity in the beverage market over the next five years. Now let's talk about what makes me really bullish about this company, their juicy financials. This is part three. Let's start with revenues, often a key point in any investment thesis for a growth stock. Celsius is consistently showing about a 41% gross margin, and that's the orange line on this graph. And as a quick side note, Monster does have stronger margins in the 50s. However, 
Celsius points out that their competitors such as Monster exclude outbound freight as part of cost of sales, therefore inflating their margins. So when Celsius adjusts their margins without freight costs, they too can get their margins to the 50s. And feel free to pause this part of the video if you need to. But getting back to this graph, Celsius is seeing incredible 45% compound annual growth rate for revenue across the company as a whole. We can break down that 45% Kager by separating it into annual annual, international, domestic, and full company revenues. Internationally, revenues are growing more slowly at around 13%, which isn't super great to see because as a relatively new brand there, you may expect more explosive growth. But to be honest, I've tried it myself. The drink is a little sweet, so I can understand why maybe European markets are a little slower to adopt it. The silver lining in this graph is that that dark orange bar on the far right represents revenue for the six months, not a year, ending June 2020, whereas the other bars represent entire years. Yet in these six months ended June 30th, 2020, internationally, Celsius already produced more revenue than all of 2019 in international markets. So maybe we're starting to see the beginnings of the explosive growth we were hoping for abroad. That was a little wordy, but what I'm trying to say is that in international markets specifically, we've seen more sales in the first six months of 2020 than the entire year of 2019, which is amazing. And if we zoom out a little bit, we can see that the weighted average for revenue growth of this company is about 45% annually. And usually 20% revenue growth is considered a good growth stock. Now, is this sustainable? Probably not. In fact, great investors like Peter Lynch said to be aware of companies that have sales growth higher than 20 to 25% because it's probably unsustainable. And if you want, I actually just made a video on Peter Lynch's investing checklist. He's a fantastic investor, always a great person to learn from. And as one last note on this graphic, I think their international growth is ready to take off and domestic growth, although 63% is not sustainable, is incredibly strong. Moving on to the balance sheet. Looking at their balance sheet, they have $20.1 million in cash, but a large chunk of their current assets is in inventories. In this sort of situation, I like to personally keep in mind that inventories are less liquid than cash on hand. So in this case, it might be more appropriate to use something called the quick ratio. The quick ratio is like a current ratio, which we use a lot in this channel, but it subtracts inventory from current assets. So 61.9 million in current assets minus 23.5 million in inventory over 30 million in current liabilities gives us a quick ratio of 1.28. And that's still above one, so that signifies good short-term financial health. In terms of liabilities, they have 8.9 million in bonds that will be due within the next year. But as we just saw with the quick ratio, this shouldn't be an issue. And it actually doesn't look like they have any serious long-term liabilities, and that's incredible to see. Subtracting all possible debt actually leaves Celsius with net cash remaining, which is awesome. And now we take a look at the income statement where the magic happens, or more specifically, the profitability. It's crazy, right? I mean, me investing in a profitable company, it's, it's, it's weird. They had over 86% year over year revenue growth for Q2, despite the Roni Rona. That is insane. This left them with a gross profit of $13 million with about a 43% gross margin and a beautiful operating profit. And after everything else, including foreign currency translation losses, Celsius posted a $1.5 million profit in Q2. And really quickly, if you're wondering why they had a $10 million profit in the six months ended June 30th in 2019, it's because of the $12 million from their investment repayment from China. This is a whole nother story, but basically they closed an agreement in China that gave them $12 million in repayment of invested capital that came in 2019. So without that $12 million in repayment, they would not have been profitable in the six months ended June 30th, 2019. And that is why the profitability of this quarter and I believe the last quarter is so impressive. So they're profitable. They'll have virtually no debt a year from now and their revenue is growing at an astounding rate. That is a setup I really like. Let's talk about part four, why they're growing so fast and how they can grow even further. To answer the first part of that question, their current growth and why it's so fast, I think it boils down to one thing 
customer loyalty. With the global situation, gyms were closed down for months and guess who Celsius targets as one of their primary demographics, people who go to gyms and like to work out. Thus, one may have assumed that energy drink sales for Celsius would have fallen and I would have agreed with you. But Celsius went and posted a new quarterly record for revenue in Q1 of 2020, a 95% year over year increase to $28 million in revenue in the midst of a global shutdown. And it didn't stop there. In Q2, Celsius comes out with another quarterly revenue record of $30 million in Q2 of 2020. Their customer base flocked to online retailers and local stores to keep demand at all time highs for Celsius products. Now here's how we answer the second question, how can they grow further? My answer is the massive opportunity in global expansion. And just like with the last point, I have a pretty good example for you. I wanna talk about Celsius's acquisition of Funk Foods. This deal was made almost exactly one year ago, and it also gives us a chance to grade management's strategic planning. Funk Food is a distributor of nutritional supplements, food products, and beverages for healthy living in Finland, Sweden, and Norway. They've been working with Celsius and distributing their products since 2015, but this acquisition took things to a whole nother level. This deal had a total consideration of about $27 million, 14.2 million in cash, 8.3 million in new bonds, which we talked about earlier on the balance sheet, and 4.5 million to satisfy pre-existing debt. You can see that Celsius values the intangible asset of customer relationships of Funk Foods at $14 million. So obviously this is very significant to the Nordic distribution plan. And for my fellow finance nerds out there, this deal is where the $10 million in goodwill comes from on the balance sheet. Now, was this a good acquisition and what can this tell us about global opportunities? Well, in the six months ended June 30th, 2019, which was before the acquisition, European sales for Celsius were just 4.2 million dollars. These past six months, obviously after the acquisition and during the Roni Rona, European sales grew by 305% to over $17.2 million. Meanwhile, by comparison, North American sales grew by just 55%. And don't get me wrong, that's still amazing, but compared to 305%, it pales in comparison. And granted, it is easier to grow by 300% when you're starting with 4 million in sales versus 25 million in North America, but the difference is still obvious. So obviously, whatever expansion plan that Celsius had in mind for Europe specifically with their acquisition of Funk Foods, it is working very well. This shows management's ability to grow explosively internationally. And they do have some business going on in China, but for the sake of the length of this video, we can talk about that another time. Now, perhaps the most important part of this video, the valuation. And also I'm gonna talk about what I'm going to do. With a market cap of about 1.53 billion, Celsius's trailing 12 months earnings of just 1.9 million gives it an absurd PE ratio of over 800. Obviously that is very unattractive. Monster Energy, a much more mature company in the same space, has a PE ratio of about 37 to 38. However, if we use the price to sales ratio, which is usually a metric used in place of the PE ratio for companies that are not yet profitable, we can see that Celsius with a $1.53 billion market cap and trailing 12 months revenues of 102.8 million, this gives it a price to sales ratio of about 14.88. Remember that number. And with a market cap of 42.08 billion and trailing 12 month revenues of 4.306 billion, Monster's price to sales ratio is about 9.8. Three. Now, yes, if you put the two side by side, it is a pretty big difference and it doesn't really make me any more comfortable. However, this is where I think personal investing philosophies may come into play. I would ask myself, is this difference in valuation the premium that I'm willing to pay for investing in Celsius, a young, high growth company that is very exciting? And that decision is up to you. So what am I going to do? I think Celsius is in a competitive space with a low barrier to entry, to be quite honest. But they have superior brand recognition, loyal customer base as shown by their strong sales despite the global illness, strong financials, and I like their management strategic decisions so far. I absolutely love seeing a high growth, profitable company. Their international expansion looks like it has so much potential and it has been proven that they can do it well in at least one area of the world and their domestic growth continues to impress. 
And I'm very curious to see what Q3 and Q4 will bring us in terms of revenue and projections, because as people go back to school, as people start going back to work, and as people stay indoors, they get tired. And as energy levels are low, but work still needs to get done, enter energy drinks. I've personally felt this effect where I'm very tired from being indoors and not really being outside all day, but I still have a lot of work to do and I tried their product. I don't know if I can really show the logo, but I tried it and I was wired afterwards. I actually wrote this script while drinking Celsius and I think I was on focus for six to seven hours of doing research. And by the way, these videos seriously take a long time to make, but I love doing it. So if you could just drop a like button for the YouTube algorithm, I'd really appreciate it. And the other thing is that Celsius is actually cheaper than many of the other alternatives, at least at my convenience store, like Yerba Mate, Starbucks Cold Brew, Monster Energy, Uptime, and all these other drinks. And actually, I think Celsius worked better in terms terms of energy levels than one of my favorites, Yerba Mate. The rest are yet to be tested. The stock itself has cooled down a bit since its recent high of $26 back in August, so I'll be looking for a nice entry point sometime soon. I intend to open what I call a feeler position, which is where I put in about 15 to maybe 25% of my intended total position into a stock after doing about 90% of my due diligence and if I like what I'm seeing so far. And of course, if you're a top tier patron, you'll know exactly when and if I make this trade. And if that sounds like something you're interested in, it's the first link in the description below. So yes, if the price allows it and I do more due diligence and I continue to like what I see, I will be starting a position in Celsius, but I'm still working on it. So don't take this as me saying I'm buying it, you know, this is just me kind of thinking out loud. So actually I recorded this video yesterday and it turns out that Celsius decided to break out of a very tight consolidation the day I was hoping to post my video. So I ended up buying in this morning on October 22nd around $22.90 and of course top tier patrons were alerted but I apologize I couldn't get this video out before this happened and I'm working on right now as we speak trying to get it out as soon as possible before the market closes. So hope you guys appreciate this little heads up and I'm sorry again that this couldn't come out earlier, but I guess this is a good thing. And I think there's definitely still more room to run in this stock. This is the one day chart over a six month time period. And I think it could get up, up to here, $24. This is, has been a historical resistance and um, I hope this helps. So have a great day guys. If you found any value in this video and I hope you did, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, check out a quote of the day, you might just learn something. Make sure to follow me on Instagram for daily posts about my portfolio, stocks I'm watching and all that good stuff. And if you're watching at this point in the video, you are the real MVP. Don't forget your peace and thank yous.